Okay. So, we just uh, we have seen that uh, your V 0 u t that we have explained already how it can be represented this is V 0 into u t it is right and step unit function we have given for t less than 0 that u t is 0 and it is if it is greater than 0 then uh, t greater than 0 then u t is 1. So, that means when the switch in this position just we have explained 1 and 2 are short circuited that means your V 1 2 is equal to your uh, output voltage whatever it is that is 0 right and that is your and second thing is if switch moves from this position to that position at t is equal to 0 then at that time your what you call V 1 2 is equal to V 0 that is V t right is equal to V 0. So, this is all 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 have been explained here. Similarly, for the current source if you take I mean suppose you take a current source that I 0 u t and its equivalent circuit is shown this is I 0 into u t. So, we have explained the step unit function that for t less than 0 that is your u t is equal to 0 and t greater than 1 uh, sorry t greater than 0 that u t is equal to 1. So, when switch in this position whatever shown in this figure at t is equal to your uh, g or what you call it is switch is open at t is equal to 0, but when switch is in this position that is t less than 0 in that case this is open that means your i t is equal to 0 right and as soon as switch moves from this position to that position I mean if the switch is moving from this to that that means if it is connected here and it is not there at that time i t is equal to i 0 right. So, this is your this is the meaning of i 0 into u t right. That means, for t less than 0 your what you call that your u t is equal to 0 and t less than uh, t greater than your 0 that your uh, your what you call that u t is equal to 1 that unit step function. So, this is this is i meaning of when you will solve the your what you call that your uh, this uh, the transient problem at that time we will consider this kind of source such, such as v into u t or i into u t we will see later right. So, this is the this is your I meaning of I 0 u t is like this right. So, that is the that is the idea that rather than moving like this if we represent circuit if we represent the source voltage source or current source right by uh, multiplied by an unit uh, your step function how when we will uh, solve the circuit at the table we will know how it behaves right. So, this is this is your now I am clearing it. So, this is your representation of uh, current source. Now, next is that unit impulse function right actually physically unit impulse function is like like ideal sources uh, voltage ideal sources or resistor that your unit in physically it is not realizable, but it is a very strong mathematical tool right for circuit analysis. So, the derivative of the it is underlined only the derivative of the unit step function ut is the unit impulse function. Now, mathematically it can be expressed as delta t we represent delta t or what you call that unit impulse function right. So, it is unit impulse function. So, delta t is equal to d d t of u t is it is it is equal to 0 for t less than 0 it is t is equal to 0 it is undefined right and t greater than 0 again it is 0 right. So, this is actually what you call this is the definition of unit impulse function right. So, the, it is also known sometimes we call as a delta function in 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 a, in a, in, a, in a book you will find this unit impulse function also is termed as delta function right and, and is shown in figure this one this is t and this is say it is 0 time 0 and this is delta t this one if you will find it is marking 1 means it unit area is 1 right that is strength we will see later much uh, after that right. It, uh, so, but this is your what you call unit impulse function the representation right and this one we will see later it is unit area it is called the strength of the your unit impulse function we will see just after few minutes. So, impulsive voltage and currents occur in electric circuit as it is I mean I mean if you you, you can you, you can you, you might have experience also that impulsive voltage and currents occur in electric circuit as a result of switching operation or impulsive sources right. Like ideal sources ideal resistor etc right the unit impulse function is not physically realizable right, but it is very useful for mathematical tool. So, th that that means physically it is it is uh, your what you call it, it is not your realizable, but it is a very useful mathematical tool right for analysis of various circuits. So, the just let me clear it. So, the unit impulse 
may be regarded as an applied or resulting shock and visualized as a very short duration pulse of unit area. Mathematically actually we can express is that your integration just before switching that is 0 minus to 0 plus delta t dt is equal to 1. Its, its area is what you call it can be mathematically it can it can be expressed as 0 minus to 0 plus delta t dt is equal to 1 right this is the unit impulse function but its area is 1 t is equal to 0 minus time just before t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0 plus time just after t is equal to 0 right. So, you have to remember this that from 0 minus to 0 plus delta t integration of delta t dt is equal to 1 this is equation 35. But to this reason it is customary to write 1 denoting unit area 1 that figure I told you here right it is it is in this figure here I told you that it is 1 means it denoting your unit area. So, but see how is it due to this reason it is customary to write 1 that is denoting unit area as in figure 30 I showed you the unit area is known as the strength of the impulse function and when an impulse function has a strength other than unity the area of the impulse is equal to its strength right. So, actually area of the your what you call unit impulse function that is actually strength I have underlined here for you underlined here right. So, for example, an impulse function say here uh, just here an impulse function uh, like 8 delta t has an area of 8 right. Similarly, uh, your uh, what you call an impulse function of 4 delta t plus 2 8 delta uh, t and minus 4 are shown in here like. So, this is 8 delta t. So, it is delta t. So, it is this is a time 0. So, it is a you can write this is 8 delta t. Now, for 4 t uh, del plus 4 delta t plus 2 that is t is equal to minus 2 right. So, it will start from here this is 4 delta t plus 2 it is just a just a impulse response right. And similarly it is minus 4 delta t minus 2. So, t is equal to 2 and it is minus. So, it is minus 4 delta t minus 2 this is the representation of the impulse function. In this case strength is 8, in this case strength is 4, in this case also strength is 4 right. So, let me clear it. So, this is 3 impulse function I just showed you. So, impulse function affects other function and to illustrate this let us evaluate the integral. I mean it affects uh, in that impulse function affects the other function also for example, for example, you take uh, you uh, you take that integration alpha to beta f t delta t minus t 0 d t right. Now, t 0 is lying in between alpha and beta since delta t minus t 0 is equal to 0 except at t is equal to t 0 because at t is equal to t 0 it is undefined you just saw right at there it was delta t t less than 0 greater than 0 uh, whatever is given 0 0, but at t is equal to 0 it is undefined, but there we are taking delta t minus t 0. So, it is 0, but except at t is equal to t 0 t 0. So, the integrand is 0 except at t is equal to t 0 because it is un undefined. Therefore, alpha to beta f t delta t minus t 0 d t you can write at t is equal to t 0 you can write uh, because at t is equal to t 0 right except at this delta t minus t 0 is equal to 0 except at t is equal to t 0. Therefore, at t is equal to t 0 alpha beta it is f t 0 delta t minus t 0 d t or is equal to it is f t 0 will come out it is here right then integration your alpha to beta your delta t minus t 0 d t just just let me go little bit up right. So, here now, this is this has come out right. So, alpha to beta delta t minus t 0 d t is equal to f t 0 because this 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 is actually you take that area is equal to your what you call that unity 1 right. So, that is equal to f t 0 therefore, alpha to beta f t delta t minus t 0 d t is equal to f t 0. So, this is equation 36 right that means, let me move little bit up that means, that this equation 36 actually this is equal this is your equation uh, this is your equation uh, this is your equation 36 it clearly shows that a function is integrated with the impulse function we get the value of the function 
at that point where the impulse function impulse occurs right. This property of the impulse function is very useful and known as the sampling property or shifting property right right. So, this is this is very important. So, but in this in this course we will study little bit only right more things are available in a course like your signals and networks right uh, that is a different thing. But here just little bit little bit we will learn little bit we will learn. So, let me clear it. Now, therefore, consider a special case for t is t 0 is equal to 0 then equation 36 that means this equation if t is equal your here it is if t 0 is equal to 0 here it is t 0 is equal to 0 if t 0 is equal to 0 then it will be say in between 0 minus to 0 plus f 0 delta t d t is equal to f 0. So, here similarly that means if t is t 0 is equal to 0 then it will be 0 minus to 0 plus integration f t d t f t uh, delta t d t and that is f 0 because uh, this uh, this one this one uh, just I am making it this one is equal to your f 0 then integration 0 minus to 0 plus delta t d t right and this part is unity. So, it is become f 0 right. So, let me clear it. So, this is all uh, regarding impulse function this is just to for the sake of completeness of this thing just I have taken this right. There are many other singularity function, but we will uh, come to we will come up to ramp only and some example. So, unit ramp function in this case unit ramp function R t can be obtained by integrating the unit step function u t. If you integrate unit step function u t you can write R t is equal to your minus infinity to t u t d t is equal to t into u t right. So, R t is equal to actually 0 for t less than equal to 0 and R t is equal to t for t greater than equal to 0 right that is why minus infinity to t u t d t is equal to t into u t this is equation 38 this equation can be written like this that R t is equal to 0 for t less than equal to 0 and is equal to t for t greater than equal to 0 this is equation 39 this is the, this is that your what you call it is integration of the unit step function that is your your what you call unit your if you if you just uh, want to obtain unit ramp function. So, a ramp is a function that changes at a constant rate right. So, basically it is equation of state line. So, the unit ramp function unit is 0 for negative values of t and has a unit slope for the positive values of t. So, figure 32 shows the unit ramp function that means for a negative value of t this is the it is, it is plot like this it is plotting like this. So, negative value of t it is 0 and for positive value of t it is shown right and this is this is unit this is also 1 right. So, this is a unit step by your what you call the ramp function. So, next uh, the unit ramp function may be may be advanced or delayed right previously also if in t 0 right it may be advanced by time t 0 or delayed by time t 0. For the advanced unit ramp function right this is for advanced r t plus t 0 that is if it is 0 if t less than equal to minus t 0 and it is t plus t 0 if t greater than equal to minus t 0 this is equation 40 right. So, if you if you plot it right so shows the advanced unit ramp function so r t plus t 0. So, it will stay here it is your t plus t 0 t is equal to minus t your t 0 and this is your minus t 0 plus 1 and this difference I mean only distance only distance this difference actually this difference actually it is 1 in terms of just uh, length this one and this is this is also 1. So, this, this height is also 1. So, your what you call slope is also 1 this is this is you call that advanced unit ramp function this is advanced unit ramp function right and this is this point is minus t 0 plus 1. So, it is minus t 0 if you take the this side negative will come, but distance is 1 minus t 0 minus uh, your t 0 plus 1 right. So, it is basically minus t 0 plus t 0 minus 1. So, this will be cancel minus 1 because it is on the negative axis of uh, negative side of the time axis, but distance is 1 right. So, let me clear it. So, this is your unit ramp function advanced by t 0. Now, if it is delayed, 
if for that if that if it is delayed ramp function then it will be r t minus t 0 right. I mean it is it is equal to 0 for t less than equal to t 0 and it is t minus t 0 for t greater than t 0 right. So, this is the figure 34. So, the delayed unit ramp function this is this is your delayed unit ramp function right. So, it is starting from t 0 and this distance again your this distance is again 1 right t 0 plus 1 minus t 0 1 and this is 1. So, unit ramp function and this is r t minus t 0 this is the plot of your what you call unit ramp function delayed by t 0. That means, when it is delayed it will be t is equal to t 0 on the right hand side and that is the first coordinate right and when you are uh, that is uh, starting from here, but this is your this b, b less than t 0 it is 0. Similarly, when it is advanced it is coming it is starting from somewhere at t is equal to minus t 0 right. So, this is your unit ramp function delayed by t 0. So, next is so although there are many more singularity functions at this point, but we in this course we will just for the sake of completeness little bit just we have given the flavor of these three different functions right. We are only interested in impulse function, unistep function and the ramp right. Note that three singularity functions impulse step and ramp are related to differentiation as follows. So, if you look into that that your uh, that your delta t is your differentiation of d u t by d t right. Similarly, u t also is differentiation of ramp function d r t by d t right or by integration or by integration u t will be minus infinity to t delta t d t right and similarly for ram function r t is equal to minus infinity to t u t d t right. If you this is delta t is equal to differentiation of differentiation of u t and u t is equal to differentiation of r t, but other way if you integrate u t will be it is um, uh, your minus infinity to t delta t d t and r t will be minus infinity to t u t d t. This is 42 and this is equation 43 right. So, next take a one or two simple example. It is given that express the voltage pulse right in figure uh, 35, this is figure 35 in terms of the unit step determines its derivative and sketch it. So, it, it looks like it is a gate function actually, it is a gate function actually at time t is equal to 3 second actually idea is like this, this graph is like this. So, it is a voltage pulse so, at time t is equal to 3 it is switched on and say time t is equal to 6 it is switched off right. So, it is a gate function. So, uh, that means you have to see that uh, this voltage this is v t and this voltage is 10 volt right. So, v t basically it is a function of uh, your what you call t unit step function. So, at t is equal to 3 second say it is switched off switched on and t is equal to 6 it is switched off and it is a gate function. So, how we will get it let me clear. So, so, all these things are written for you right whatever I am telling. So, it is a gate function. So, what I said at 3 second it switches off and this is and at uh, 3 is equal to your 3 second it is switching on switches uh, or uh, switches on at t is equal to 3 second here it is it is switches on at t is equal to 3 second and switches off at t is equal to 6 seconds. That means, it consists of sum of two unit step function as shown in figure 36. So, let us see how is it. So, now when it is switching on it is its value was given value was given 10 volt V t right say 10 volt. So, when it is switching on at t is equal to 3. So, this will be actually 10 u t minus 3 right and when it is switch off switched off at t is equal to 6 second it will be minus 10 u t minus 6 right. So, at the time of switching on it will be 10 u t minus u 3 right split plus and at the time of switching off at t is equal to 6 second it will be minus 10 u t minus 6. Now, if you call that means this function actually this function this gate function actually is equal to sum of two unit steps a function that is this is this one plus the one plus symbol is here I have made it plus right is equal uh, this this one. That means, this one you can that means mathematically if you write like this it will be 10 u t minus 3 minus 10 u t minus 6 because it is this one plus this one. This function 
this function that is figure 35 this function is equal to this function this you these two unit step function this these two you or what you call step uh, summation of these two step function. So, in this case this is the decompos decomposition of the gate function this one and this one. So, if you represent now v t is equal to it will be 10 u t minus 3 that is your this one minus 10 u t minus 6 that means it will be 10 u t minus 3 minus 10 u t minus 3, 10 you take common u t minus 3 minus u t minus 6 right. This is your representation of v t that get function and if you take the derivative of this one d v by d t it if you take the derivative it will be your delta function that is your impulse function it will it will 10 delta t minus 3 minus delta t minus 6. Here here we have seen no this one that de, your what you call delta function is equal to your derivative of u right and a unit uh, step function is derivative of the ramp right. So, if you take the derivative of this one if you take the derivative of this one this will be dv, dv by d t is equal to 10 it will be delta t minus 3 if you take the derivative of unit function it will be your delta function delta t minus 3 minus delta t minus 6 right and now if you sketch delta de, your dv with dt so it is a delta function so at t is equal to 3 its strength is 10 so it will be 10 uh, and at t is equal to 3 second it is plotted another thing is at t is equal to 6 but is minus 10 it is t is equal to t is equal to 6 it is minus 10 so this plus 10 this is minus 10 it is plotted right so because it is 10 into delta t minus its strength is 10 right so this is how one can plot the or what you call that your um, uh, your uh, gate function and this is the uh, things are very simple let me tell you things are very simple. So, another one will take thing that the, it, this figure it shows a short tooth function express this function in terms of singularity function it is a short tooth function is given right. So, it is basically a ramp function and your another thing is that it is a gate function right. So, it, it is a slope it is this this height is this height is 12 right and this is the from here to here it is 3. So, it is slope is equal to your uh, uh, 12 by 3 is equal to 4 the slope is equal to 4 of the, the for this state line right. Now, let me clear it. So, how will represent this one how will represent the v t right let us see. So, a close observation reveals that v t is multiplication of a ramp function it is a ramp function and another thing as a gate function and a gate function and this uh, at t is equal to 3 suppose uh, your what you call at t is equal to 3 it is your what you call that your uh, it is going as a ramp and at t is equal to 3 it switches off right. So, a close observation of figure 38 it reveals that v t is a multiplication of a ramp function and a gate function. So, slope of the ramp function is 4 I told you it is slope of the ramp function is 4 therefore, v t will be that the or what you call it will be 4 t then it will be u t minus u t minus 3 right this way you can write because slope is 4 slope is 4 and it is a product of ramp function and a gate function right. So, it will be slope is 4 so and the ramp function basically is a straight line passing through the origin right. So, that means your this uh, your uh, this equation of the state line will be your what you call v t for this state line only v t is equal to 4 t right. And then that means, we can represent 4 t u t and minus that your u t minus 3 suppose at this point it is switches off. So, 4 t u t minus 4 t u t minus 3 right. So, in this case this this one I mean it is understandable to you right the slope is 4 slope is 4 equation of the state line is 4 t and at t is equal to 3 seconds suppose something is switched off then it will be your 4 t u t minus 4 t u t minus 3 right. So, that is your 4 t u t minus u t minus 3. So, multiply this so it will be 4 t u t minus your 4 t u t minus 3. Now, this one this this t this t we can write it is t minus 3 t minus 3 plus 3 right this equal to you can write this is 4 r t 4 r t is as it is. So, my minus 4 t minus 3 into u t minus 3 and this is minus plus minus. So, minus 12 it is u t minus 3. So, it is 4 r t minus 4 t minus 3 u t minus 3 minus 12 u t minus 3. 
that is equal to this is 4 r t ram function minus 4 r t minus 3 that is that is ad, your advanced or delayed we have uh, we have already uh, shown in the ram function right. So, minus 4 r t minus 3 minus 12 u t minus 3. So, this is the answer this is the answer right this is little bit little bit before moving to the your step response of an RP circuit considering some sources. So, little bit uh, you know particularly voltage source when we will apply uh, when we will uh, solve the circuit little bit idea is required. So, that is why so this is a simple thing and I told you how to break it little bit problem not much problem we will study on this, but just to just to you know give you some ideas that is why we have made uh, we have made it like this some example right other singularity function we will not consider in this course this is just little bit of basic. Right. So, next is step response of an RC circuit. Now, the step response is the response of the circuit due to a sudden application of a DC current or voltage source because our interest here is DC transient and that is first order circuit either RC circuit or RL circuit. Right. So, in this course we will not consider RLC circuit or LC circuit that is second order circuit we will not consider. Uh, so, the step response is the response of the circuit due to sudden application of a DC current or voltage source. So, figure 39 this is your figure 39 right it shows RC circuit where V s is a constant DC voltage source this is actually your RC circuit this is RC circuit and V s is a constant voltage source and one its a capacitor is there it may be initially charged may be initially uncharged. So, so, at uh, your uh, for t less than 0 the switch was open and at t uh, at that at uh, your what you call at t greater than 0 the switch is closed at right, 0 minus or 0 plus just before switching it is 0 minus and just after switching it is 0 plus right. So, switch is closed right for t greater than 0. So, this circuit it this is the circuit and this can be represented as this is an RC circuit this can be represented that is V s u t that is source voltage is this this, uh, this is your what you call the switch is closed and it can be written as V s u t then r and c actually idea is simply like this for t less than 0 we know the unit step function for t less than 0 u t is equal to 0 and for t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1. So, when when it was t less than 0 this voltage source is completely disconnected right. So, nothing is showing in the circuit. So, at in that case u t is equal to 0. So, here also if u t is your u t is equal to your 0 and for your uh, t greater than 0 uh, right uh, your u t is equal to 1 when switch is closed that is why this can be represented this circuit can be represented as like this V s into u t right earlier we have seen that step function unit step function right. So, that means that means that an RC circuit with voltage step input right. So, basically it is a voltage step input I mean uh, the, from here when it is open is ok, uh, but as soon as you close the switch as if it is going as a step input. So, that is why it is a, that your circuit of figure 39 with voltage step input V s u t and this is the current I t this is the current I t right. So, before moving further before moving further just one thing that current direction I have taken like this suppose if you if you take a if you take a uh, your what you call that uh, node like this from here first let us see what is I t you apply K V L. So, it will be R then I t moving like this clockwise right uh, your plus your V right and minus V s right V s u t you can write, but for uh, t greater than 0 if t greater than 0 then u t is equal to 1 right. So, that means your it will be v, r i t plus v minus is equal to your is equal to 0 right. That means, my i t will be is equal to your this uh, v s minus v divided by r when for t greater than 0 when switch is closed u t is equal to 1 right. So, that means, i t is equal to this direction if you take if you take current direction is like this then this one will be V minus V s just it will be reverse it will be V minus V s upon R this is the current and this side I mean this current if we take say 
say I 1 and uh, this side if we take this is your basically I 1 right is equal to minus of I t, t I am not putting here if you want you can and this side you say I c right that means my I c is equal to c into d v by d t right that means at this point suppose this node is a suppose you create like this and apply k c l at this point. So, that means my I 1 t uh, rather I 1 I can make I 1 plus your I c is equal to 0 that means my this is this will be v minus v s divided by r plus c into d v by d t is equal to 0 right. All the direction is taken like this, but if I if we apply k c l say at this point you take and this, this direction in this direction the current is this. So, when you change this direction suppose this way it will be v minus v s and for t greater than 0 u t is equal to 1 it will be v s right and that means from this equation we have to try to solve this circuit. Thank you very much we will be back again.